tell us your name and the film that you're doing. Uh, my name is Tatiana Issa and uh, we directed and produced Zikro Cats here at the 8th uh, World Dynamics Festival of Bangkok. Yeah, my name is Rafael Alvarez and I directed with her as well. It's a documentary, it's a Brazilian documentary about um, a group of um, actors and dancers in Brazil in the early 70s mm -hmm. and they uh, fought against the dictatorship using sarcasm and humor and very intelligent and they were really important in our country. Okay. Yeah, they're very important and what I think it's really interesting about the film is the fact that they were forgotten. Uh, they've been about 30 years that nobody really knew who they were, not only outside of Brazil, but also in Brazil. So it's been really wonderful for us to be able to bring this story back. And a lot of the young generation now is being able to get to know them and learn about the, their story. So I think that's the best part of the film. I had the great, great opportunity of living with them when I was a child. Okay. My father used to work in the backstage uh -huh. of their show, you know, working on lights and props. Uh -huh. And I was little, very little, like two, three years old, and my father was living with them in Paris when they were really big in Paris. And, and they really changed the, you know, French theater scene forever. Like, people remember them until now, even 35 years later. And uh, when I was there at the time, I, I used to live with them in the mm -hmm. same apartment. They used to live all together. It was the kind of community spirit of the 70s where everybody lives together, share everything. And then, then my father was living with them and therefore I was with him. Mm -hmm. And so I had the opportunity of growing up with those amazing, talented, uh, you know, men. Mm -hmm. And that was something really strong for me as a child. And I had the memory of them, you know, and growing up with the memory of how amazing they were, how talented mm -hmm, they were, mm -hmm. how they changed my country, mm -hmm. how they, you know, create even terms that are now in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. They changed music, dance, everything, you know, and I used to say to everyone in my generation, and anyone of 35 years or younger, never heard of them whatsoever, whatsoever. They That's thought crazy. I was crazy, that I was making that up, that they didn't exist, how come, you know, they were so powerful and nobody heard about them. You know, and then me and Rafael, we were friends for 25 years. We met when we were like 9, 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And I was always telling him, you know, about them. And you know, I thought she was crazy. <laughs> exactly. No you know, and I was you haven't heard it either? No, I mean, uh, I heard it from her. Gotcha. But even until I, we actually did the film, uh -huh. I didn't know how important they were for our culture. Uh -huh. You know, now, people see, after they saw the film, some people even came and asked, was that real or is that fiction? And I'm like, no, that's, yeah, that actually did happen. It's such an amazing story. They really changed everything. When you look at TV now, the TV that we do in Brazil, and you, you watch like humor, comedy, right. comedy, you know, the shows uh -huh. that are on TV, that kind of humor, you know, it, it came from them, you know, they started everything. And then today, all the younger generation look at their, those shows on TV, and they don't know where right. it comes from, you know, the roots of that the kind of humor, the right. kind of irony, the kind of the way to do humor in music, in, you know, expressions. And therefore, we, we have a, a, a production company in New York City. We live abroad. We, need, we live in New York uh, for a while now. Uh -huh. And uh, we always had that idea of opening a production company where you can make films and, and show different sides of Brazil. Uh -huh. you know, the stereotype and, uh, that people have about the country. And I think, of course, we had all the awards, and uh -huh. that, it's very, that uh -huh. was very important, and it is very important for us because that gave us the idea that, that what we, we were doing had really an importance. We had the opportunity of winning the Itamarachi Award, Award which is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh -huh. Award, and that was something that really changed a lot in the beginning of our process, because that really opened a lot of you know, people's mind to mm -hmm. watch it. And that opened validate, doors open for doors us. for us. And uh, that is something very important, as well as Festival do Rio and Mostra International de São Paulo. Because the Tamarachi is also bringing us, like they brought us here, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They're bringing us to a lot of different countries where we're able to show that story. Mm -hmm. So that's really important for us mm -hmm. because it's really not only about the awards, mm -hmm. but about the amount of people that will learn the story, mm -hmm. you know, and will learn about them. And a lot of times they have opportunity to do Q&As as well, which is very nice for us because mm -hmm. after watching the film, has a lot of questions. Oh. <laughs> and they, they really do because it's so much information. Especially about you, I think. They're like, ah, yeah. but how were you there? <laughs> she yeah, was like two, three years old living with yeah. 13 men who wore glitter and 
it didn't care about, you know what I mean? And then the eyelashes. And the I mean, eyelashes. Have long eyelashes. Exactly. They have really lo like long eyelashes, oh, wow. you know? And but they didn't shave. It's not like they were drag. Right, right, right. You know, yeah. that's that's was the androgynous thing. They were mm -hmm. very sexy. They didn't want to be women. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They wanted to be people. They wanted uh -huh. to show that you don't have to be one thing or the other. Uh -huh. You can love whoever you want. You can be with whoever you want as long as you're happy. You know, and that's really, I think, was their message. You know?